It's Thursday at Bob's Magic Emporium. Time for the next all new trick questions, the show where we talk about your favorite magic tricks. Take a look today at the Clarity Box by David Regal. This is a great trick in where you have the uh, spectator select a card, then you have uh, the card signed, lost in a deck, and then you can't find the card, so you find it, in, it, you open the box up, dump the card that's in the box out, open up the card, and it's their signed card. Magic Andrino says, do you think it's worth the money as it's quite expensive? Anyway, do you think it will last for a long time? Is it good quality? Uh, yes, definitely worth the money. This is like a $90 magic trick, but you get that the audience goes crazy when, the, when you dump the card out of the box and it's their signed card. They go nuts over that. They love it. And because they, they don't know how the card got in the box because you want to make sure when you do this trick that the card stays in the box with the card and it stays in view the whole time. Because they're like, wait a second, this is the first time you touched that box. Where did that card come from? So they do go crazy over that. And will it last a long time? I would say yes if you don't beat the prop up. Like I've said before, if you treat your magic props with care, they're going to last you a long time. So don't beat up the magic prop. Um, but, you know, if you throw it in your case, I would not recommend throwing this in your case just because if you throw it in your case, it may get beat up and it may start getting scratched. So I would recommend buying like a little velvet bag or some kind of bag you could throw this in and protect it a little bit better just because there might you might get scratches on it and stuff like that. Uh, it's because it's sort of like um, plastic. It's sort of like the same material almost that the TV card frame uh, plastic panels are made from. So it could get scratched like those plastic panels. Uh, Alton Cardova says, can the box be examined after the card is revealed to be their signed card? No. Uh, unfortunately, that's the bad thing about this trick is you uh, cannot have the box really be examined because they'll be able to see the secret to the trick if you have it examined. Uh, I think there are card to impossible location boxes, such as ones that work, uh, ones that are to have the same principle as the clarity box that can be revealed afterwards. But this one can't because uh, you might be able to have them examine it, but they may be able to look in the wrong place at the right time and see the secret. So I wouldn't recommend having them uh, having the car the box be examined. But normally what I do to get around that situation is as soon as I dump the card out, I'll have the card in this hand and I'll have it at the fingertips so they can see the card that I'm not doing anything sneaky. And I'll take that box and I'll put it right inside of my case. And then I'll open up their card. That way they see the shock of it being their signed card. They can pass the card out and they can look at the card to their heart's content. But that way the box is now out of mind because they can't see it sitting. And it's now in my case, out of view, I don't have to worry about them asking. And if they happen to ask to see the box, I say, well, you got your card right there. Keep that as a souvenir, but let me show you something else. Let's go on to the next trick. And you can get all, you can get around that. Purple Link Lego 11 had a comment, which I had to remove because it revealed the secret to the trick. So I can't actually give you any advice on your comment, unfortunately, because it does give away one of the secrets to the trick. So um, sorry about that, Purple Link Lego 11. Because remember, this show on this show, I don't reveal anything about how the trick works. I just answer your general questions about the trick. Okay. And BX Shep TV had a comment, not a question about uh, the Clarity Box. He said, can you review Cobra Kiss? Well, Brendan, that's next week's magic trick. I really wish, I really wish you'd stop coming to my house and reading my script for next week. Because I was going to review that anyways next week. So don't jump ahead of me, Brendan. Uh, no, but next week we're going to review Cobra Kiss. This is the trick where you do Russian roulette with staplers. So if you have any questions about the Cobra Kiss trick, Make sure to leave them down below. I'll answer them next week. And remember to register on my website, follow me on uh, Twitter, like me on Facebook, add me to Google Plus Circles. I'll see you next Thursday for another all new trick questions. You know how to mix up cards? You say, you are not cards. You are not cards. The magic karate works. Whoops. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Of course, you get the, the two tubes and you get a certain amount of bottles. Let me grab party. Adults love the trick too, don't get me wrong, but I think kids love it a little bit more than it looks. It looks like you're actually uh, taking and shuffling the cards. 